is Chris Murray, author of the award-winning true story of the Washington State Penitentiary from 1970 to 1985, a time during which the prison went from order to chaos and back again. There were many dangerous places in the penitentiary in the 1970s. One of those was the prison auditorium when the lights went out. Now, he's a buddy of mine and stuff. I see him do a couple things just cold blood him. And then one time we went into the movie theater. We got there and Steve said, and Curtis and CJ told me, hey, sit there and find this guy right there. Sit there and go look. That movie suicide. I said, yeah, okay. So I went in and sat behind the guy. Lights went out. You couldn't prove it. Now. And before they could turn the movie on, I seen Curtis stand up. I said, you could barely see because it was, I mean, when they blacked out to get ready for the movie, that auditorium was up in black. But I could just see enough of him stand up and I hear a crack. And I said, man. Curtis said, come on, we gotta get out of here. We got up, split a couple other guys on both sides of the guy. He said, well, we got up, split, and they turned the lights on. Well, everybody started in for the door when they turned the lights on. And here's this guy sitting in the chicken. He had that leather baseball bat, saw how bad it was. Indian. Or another dad, you know, he borrowed some money from somebody and then told him to kiss his ass and then he couldn't collect. He said, okay. You know what wanted him to kiss his ass. Didn't kill him. He's a vegetable. You know, my wife.